So I said we're probably gonna do a series of videos on the iPhone 10 and the various things that we discover throughout our journey with this new phone. One of the first things to address really is that Face ID, because Face ID not only works, but it works incredibly well. And I know there's been tests out there with twins and stuff like that, debunk it a little bit. But let's think about this for a second. Previously, you got a notification for something. Let's say the text message. You can look at your phone and you can tap it, but then you have to hold your finger on the touch ID button and unlock it and hope it actually opens up that text message. Now, because Face ID doesn't require you to actually touch anything, when you get a notification, if you glance down at your phone and you look at it and just tap that notification, it's automatically gonna go into that app for you. For example, a voicemail. So that's a really neat shortcut that Face ID has over Touch ID. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself, okay, you gotta have tried the Animojis. That must've been the first thing you did on this device. You know what? I hadn't, so I actually wanted to wait for this moment and actually try the Animojis and see how they work and send them to Mitchell, for example. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna launch the Messages app. We're gonna compose a new message to Mitchell Whitfield, for example. Here we go. And this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the screen, by the way, how it crops things on the top and bottom. If you watched our iPhone 10 first look, you see how it adds that area on the bottom? It adds an area on the bottom and an area on the top, so it actually condenses information on the screen for different things. So it gives you more access to things like the microphone, for example, or the keyboard selection. And it moves it up from the bottom, so it's almost as if there was a bottom bezel and a top bezel. It's kind of interesting how that works. So we're gonna send an an emoji to Mitchell. So I guess we're gonna go here in the iMessage, and we're gonna go back to the message to Mitchell, and we had the an emoji start. So we're gonna start new message. We're going to uh, choose the an emoji, right there, and we have the fox and emoji. Hi, Mitchell, I am the fox. I am the fox and emoji. Is this cool or is it not cool? Maybe it's a gimmick, I don't know. (laughs) Hi, Mitchell, I am the fox. I am the fox and emoji. Is this cool or is it not cool? Maybe it's a gimmick, I don't know. So there's a time limit on that. It actually automatically cut me off at a certain point, which is kind of interesting. So I'm gonna send this an emoji to Mitchell. It's supposed to send as an animated GIF, so it'll work across multiple platforms, I think. I don't know, we gotta try it out. So there you have the an emoji sent to Mitchell. And it says delivered, so will he actually get it? I don't know. Uh, The other thing to note is look at the top bar there. So when you're doing things now, the time gets this color around it. So you see red, that means I'm doing a screen recording. If I'm on a phone call, that'll turn green. So it gives you an instant notification as to what's going on. It used to be the whole top bar, now it's not anymore. So lots of cool things we're discovering with iOS 11 on the iPhone 10. We'll have more videos, I promise. Uh, Let us know again in the comments if there's something specific you want us to pay attention to. We didn't dive into the camera yet. I think that's gonna be its own video because I wanna compare it to the Pixel and compare it to the LG V30 and other devices. So again, let us know in the comments what you want us to do. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to get information and access to everything we do on your tech report.